Today we will make snow angel art. For this project, I'm using watercolor paper and a Sharpie, but you could use a pencil too. I'm also using gouache paint. You could use a watercolor or acrylic or tempera paint as well. I'm starting below halfway down my paper with a line that's just about as long as my finger. It has a slight curve to it, not much. And I'm going to draw some legs below this line. So I'm actually going to turn my paper upside down and I'm going to use my fingers as guidelines for my legs. I'm going to line my fingers up by the line and then just add some lines like this that kind of go to the end of my fingers. This way I can make sure my legs are about the same width and notice they're coming out from the line that I have drawn. So I'm trying to kind of keep my fingers still while I make some lines and then I'll move my fingers and connect my lines like so. Now I've got two legs and I can turn my picture right side up again. Now if I'm ever moving too fast, please feel free to hit that pause button so that you can catch up. Next I need some boots. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some boots underneath my pant legs here. One boot and a second boot. Then I'm going to work on my jacket. I'm going to start by making some vertical lines coming up from the bottom part of my jacket like this. They are about just the top part of my finger long, so it's not as long as a full finger. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some arms. And again, I want to use kind of the width of my finger to make my jacket arms. And I'm putting them up kind of in a diagonal way. So if you need to move your paper so that you can trace where your arms go, that works too. I'm going to connect my two arm lines like this. And I will go ahead and add the ends to my arm lines as well. so that I've got a jacket. I'm also going to add a little line like this to make a scarf above my jacket and I'll add the bottom part of the scarf kind of hanging down over the front of my jacket. Feel free to add tassels like so. I'm also going to add some mittens coming out of the sleeves of my jacket. Thumbs up like so. And then now I need a face. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a curved line on either side of the scarf. One and two. And then I'm also gonna add kind of a curved line that goes on the top as well. And I'm going to add a hat above my head. Notice it kind of wraps around the sides of the head or of the face. And you can add some details to the bottom of the hat if you would like. I'm just adding some stripes. And then I'm going to add the top part of the hat by adding another curve. And if you want to, you can put a little ball on top. Now thinking about what kind of hair you have, you could kind of show some poking out from under the hat. So I'm just going to make some long wavy hair on the back. So this looks like a girl. I'm going to add a simple face just by making some happy eyes, a little line for the nose, and a little line for the mouth too. Nothing too fancy. I'm also going to add some buttons on the jacket. We'll just put three right in the middle. And this is the basic drawing of my person. Now, I think I'm really liking this, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe add a little bit of a context on where the person is. So I'm going to make a ground line that goes above the person way up at the top of my paper. And then you decide what do you want above your ground? You could put some snowman, uh, snowmen, you could put some little houses. I think I'm just going to put some triangle trees kind of way up here on the top part of my paper to make them look kind of like 
um, evergreen or pine trees. So I'm just gonna put three, but you could do a whole little scene up there if you want, really up to you. Once I've got all of my stuff with my um, pencil or marker, I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. And then I really just wanna very lightly sketch with my pencil kind of where I think my snow angel lines would go. So think about when your legs make a snow angel, how wide do they go? And I'm just really lightly sketching out where my legs would go. And I'm thinking about my arms, about where would my arms go with my snow angel? And I'm just trying to kind of sketch out the very basic outline of the angel. If you can't see it now, you'll see it when I start painting. Sorry, it's so light. I definitely want to keep it light because I don't want it to be super strong. All right, time to paint. Now that I've got my drawing done, I'm going to go ahead and add some paint to my picture. And again, I am using something called gouache paint, but you could use watercolor, you could use tempera paint, or even acrylic paint if you would like. I'm starting off by making the shape of the angel that I make in the snow. And I'm using just kind of a light blue color to make the angel shape. Notice I have a pointed brush, so I have a little bit more control when I'm right next to my lines. If you wanted to, you could outline your lines with a, maybe a marker just to make them stronger. Or if you don't want to see your lines at all, you could just leave them a light pencil line. I'm going ahead and adding this outline of my angel with this blue paint and I'm trying to be careful as I go all the way around my person. I'm starting out with this outline with the light blue and then I'm going to make the snow even a lighter blue. If you don't have a light blue paint you can always mix blue and white to make your own. I would make it a little bit darker for the actual angel shape and then we'll make it even lighter for the snow that goes around the angel shape on the ground. That makes the angel look like it's in shadow. Notice that the snow angel wings kind of come out as a diagonal away from the body and then they have kind of a curved shape where the mittens go because the arms would go up and down and they would make kind of a curved line. For the head part of the angel, I'm just gonna kind of stay close to my person's head just by kind of creating a little bit of an outline by the head. If you want to, you could even draw in a little halo above your angel as well. Now I'm switching to a lighter blue. So in this case, you could add a lot of white to your blue um, or you could even leave the paper pure white if you want. I like to have a little bit of blue with my white just to make it a little bit more shadow or shaded. Um, usually the snow reflects the sky, so it can be kind of a light blue in color. I'm just gonna go ahead all the way around my person here, painting in the snow nice and light. So it looks like the angel is inside. That way too, if you've got any wild lines from your angel, you could paint over them. I'm using a brighter blue for the sky up above. I'm kind of going around my little triangle trees up there or whatever else you decided to add in your sky. And then I will go ahead and start filling in details in the other parts of my painting. Now, as you can see, I sped this up. So I am not really this fast of a painter, but I figured you would get the idea.
When doing the face, I do like to add some rosy cheeks just by adding a little bit of pink right next to where the smile ends. Otherwise, I'm just filling in whatever colors I would like to use for my picture. And there you have my finished snow angel painting. Thank you so much for painting with me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like more, please check out my YouTube channel, Elkie Art. Have a good one.